Hey, I noticed you've been looking pretty down lately. Is everything okay? Actually, things have been really tough for me lately. I've been suspecting that my wife is cheating on me, and I'm considering getting a divorce. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Have you confronted her about your suspicions? Not yet. I've been gathering evidence and trying to make sure I'm not jumping to conclusions. It's been eating me up inside, and I just don't know what to do. That sounds incredibly difficult. It must be tough to live with such uncertainty and doubt. Have you considered seeking professional help, like couples therapy or individual counseling? I thought about it, but I'm not sure if it would make a difference. I'm afraid that even if we go to therapy, the trust might be irreparably broken. Plus, it's hard for me to imagine a future where I can trust her again. I can understand why you feel that way. Trust is a fundamental aspect of any relationship, and when it's broken, it can be challenging to rebuild. However, therapy could help both of you gain clarity, communicate your feelings, and explore the possibility of reconciliation or an amicable separation. I guess you're right. It wouldn't hurt to at least give therapy a try before making any final decisions. Maybe a professional can help us navigate through this mess and provide some guidance. That's a good approach. It's essential to have a neutral third party who can facilitate open and honest conversations between you and your wife. They can help you both understand each other's perspectives and emotions, which might be crucial in your decision-making process. I just hope that if we do go to therapy, my wife will be willing to be open and honest. If she continues to hide things from me or denies her actions, it might be even more challenging for me to move forward. It's understandable to feel that way. Honesty and transparency are vital for any therapeutic process to be effective. If your wife isn't willing to engage honestly, it might be an indication that she's not invested in repairing the relationship. That's a valid point. I need to prepare myself for any possible outcomes, including the possibility that the marriage might not survive this ordeal. It's going to be a difficult journey, but I can't keep living in this constant state of suspicion and unhappiness. Absolutely. Taking care of your emotional well-being and finding a resolution that brings you peace is essential. Remember that you deserve happiness and a relationship built on trust and respect. Thank you for lending an ear and providing some perspective. It means a lot to me. I know it's going to be a long and challenging road ahead, but I appreciate having someone to talk to about all of this. Of course, any time. Remember, you don't have to go through this alone. Reach out to friends, family, or professionals who can support you throughout this process. Take care of yourself and I wish you strength and clarity as you navigate these difficult decisions. Thank you for your support. It really helps to have someone to talk to about this. I've been feeling so isolated and overwhelmed lately. I understand how isolating it can be to deal with such a challenging situation. Remember, you don't have to carry this burden alone. Lean on your support system and reach out to people who care about you. Sharing your feelings and concerns can provide you with much-needed emotional support. You're right. 
I've been hesitant to confide in anyone because I feel embarrassed and ashamed. But I realize now that it's essential to surround myself with people who genuinely care about my well-being. There's no shame in seeking support during difficult times. We all face challenges, and it's through connecting with others that we find strength and resilience. Don't hesitate to lean on your loved ones as you navigate this situation. I'll try my best to open up and seek the support I need. It's just hard to accept that my marriage might be falling apart. I had envisioned a different future for us. It's completely understandable to feel that way. Divorce is a significant life change, and it's natural to grieve the loss of the future you had imagined. Give yourself permission to feel those emotions and process them in a healthy way. It's difficult to even imagine a future without my wife, but I guess it's necessary to prioritize my own well-being and happiness. Staying in a relationship where trust is compromised would only lead to more pain and resentment. Absolutely. Your well-being should be your priority. It's important to take the time to reflect on what you truly want and need in a relationship. Trust is the foundation of any partnership, and if it's been broken, it can be incredibly challenging to rebuild. I've been doing a lot of soul-searching lately, trying to figure out what I want for my future. It's scary to think about starting over, but I believe that I deserve a relationship where I can trust and be trusted. Trusting yourself and your instincts is crucial. You have the strength to make the decisions that are best for you. Remember that starting over doesn't necessarily mean starting from scratch. You have valuable life experiences and lessons that will guide you towards a healthier and happier future. Thank you for reminding me of that. It's easy to forget my own worth and lose sight of what I deserve. I guess I have some more self-reflection to do and some difficult conversations to have with my wife. Take your time and be gentle with yourself throughout this process. These conversations won't be easy, but they are necessary for your growth and well-being. Trust yourself to make the choices that align with your values and bring you closer to a fulfilling life. I will try my best. Thank you for being here for me and offering your support. It means a lot to me during this challenging time. You're welcome. Remember, I'm here for you whenever you need to talk. Reach out anytime, and I'll be here to listen and support you. Take care of yourself and stay strong.